Yeah, he's got vision of his entire base, so I don't think he's going to fall to anything quite like that uh, as far as gutsy or um, any kind of uh, crafty play. Although, um, we, we've noticed, we've known that, I mean, this <laughs> this circling is just right here. And and I think Popo knows it's right here because he's got to know something is burrowed here because this nice network just appeared right here. So he knows he needs to build some kind of detection. Um, and because these roaches are coming in and they could just destroy this this supply. Okay. Um, something just detected that. I don't know. Um, I don't see any missile turrets. Uh, so maybe he did a scan real quick and I didn't see it, but he, he knows that there's a possibility for some some burrowed action uh, So he, he needs to be aware of that and, and really prepare for that I believe now uh, Axel does have lots of larvae he, here. He needs to use he's, he's starting to bank uh, Some money here. He needs to use um, and so does Popo. He's got a lot of minerals. He needs to take care of uh, interesting to see um, Okay, he, he does already have the concussive uh, shells and stim pack, of course, uh, very vital uh, upgrades. Um, and he is starting to get a couple medevacs, so we'll either see drops or just push forwards with um, with with his M3 build. Um, now, let's look at the spending tab. Okay, both have spent about the same on army. Um, and here come the the hydralis in here. Uh, behind these roaches, I think, or just to guard the ramp, actually, excuse me, and security and expansion. Um, but if we actually look at the units, um, let's see, I'm trying to find the total population. Okay, all right. So they actually are very, um, very close, 84 and 80. Um, it'll just be interesting to see. All right, coming in more with some more hydralists. Um, I think these will be in, these will be a good build just because of their range, dealing, helping to deal with the M3 uh, ball. Um, because you've got roaches that can, let's see, the roaches are over here. You've got roaches that have got uh, three range, and so they're going to be up in the front taking damage. And then you've got um, these hydralists back here with a long range of, of five or six with the upgrade. Um, and, you know, you want that staggered line of defense. However, you do see before Popo goes out, he does have uh, this raven here uh, with detection. So that's what he needs. Um, now it looks like, yep. <laughs> Popo just sending this Viking around the map. He's going to get several Overlord kills. Um, and that's going to really hurt, um, really, really going to hurt Axel because, you know, he, he he's not going to be able to produce units he needs to hold off this attack. Um, but like I was saying, this this Raven is, is very, very important as far as holding off these burrowed roaches because otherwise these roaches could just burrow right underneath, underneath this army, pop up, kill a bunch of units, and then burrow again. And um, unless Popo was quick with his scan, um, couldn't do a whole lot. Now, Axel does have this natural expansion, but he's actually currently not mining anything from it. I think, uh, okay, so Axel has just um, has just recovered from these overlords. Okay, um, we do have, oh, it looks like he, uh, Popo is going for uh, some cloaked banshees. Um, and it'll be interesting to see. I don't think he has... I uh, no. Uh, Haxel does not have any detectors, um, so I don't know how Axel is going to hold this off. He is okay. He's morphing an overseer. Exactly what he needs to do. This infestation pit is probably going to go down. But as far as doing any significant damages to troops, I think that this uh, overseer is going to be able to handle things just fine because these uh, hydralists are going to pop up real quick and take care of these two banshees very quickly. Um, and now, of course, Axel does know that there's a possibility uh, for more banshees, um, and so I think he's going to definitely keep... I completely missed that, guys. Please forgive me. These roaches just burrowed into this uh, supply line and really started taking things out. If you can get this raven over here is what, was what they need to be doing, then, um, then I think Popo can clean up these roaches, especially with uh, Marauder and, and, and uh, this Marines inside these bunkers. I think these roaches just need to get up and, and at least take something with them. Uh, unit lost, yeah, with all these roaches gone, um, that just put Axel up a whole lot as far as units lost. And what uh, Popo needs to be doing right now is attacking um, because he's got, he's got a Thor on the way. He's got uh, Viking clearing out overlords across the map. Um, he's he's just killed a huge army. Um, I would say not a huge army, but a big army of roaches um, from Axel. And so uh, the Thor is here. Um, bad impersonation there. Um, 
but he needs to go ahead and attack now uh, while he's got an advantage because every second that uh, Popo waits, he is uh, letting Axel have more time to um, not only get more units in plan, um, but also um, very uh, giving him more time to react and build up forces. All right, now. Axel does have two infestors here with full energy. So if he could put some fungal growths down on here, he would have a great, great chance to beat this army. Now it, we'll just see how quick his micro is and how, how quick he can he can get things done. Now he, he does he needs to get the all of these hydralists up and he needs to use these fungal growths now or it's it's gonna be almost over. Um, he needs to get these fungal growths going and he can't do that burrowed so he's currently not doing anything with <laughs> these infestors I'm not sure if he's forgotten they're there um, or what but if he could just put two three four fungal growths down and then spawn some infested terrans he would be I think in a lot better shape than he's in now um, and yeah if you just look at, at Popo he um, has definitely lost a, a, a lot less. Okay, now he finally did get that that fungal growth down, but that was a year after he needed it. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of these are almost dead, but it really doesn't make a difference because whether they're almost dead or not, um, they still do the same amount of damage. So Axel does give the GG. Well played there by Mr. Popo and Axel, both of them. That was a great game. Uh, so we'll be going on to the ace match, round three, uh, between Mr. Popo and Axel for the High Five Invitational Tournament. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to uh, comment, subscribe, and whatnot. So, rate, I think, is, is left. So, we'll come at you with Game 3 here soon. I'm Cover, signing off. Bye.